So moving on, um, I'd like to show everyone how to close the register at the end of the day or at the end of the shift. And now this is really important because you want to match up everything the system says you should have on hand versus everything you actually uh, count out. So to do this, you're simply going to click close register here. And you're going to have these two um, columns, manual count and system count. So the system says we should have 420.73 in cash. So what, what um, the employees will be doing, um, you'll be clicking the green dollar symbol. And then you're going to put in <clears throat> the cash count. And this is den denomination count. So for instance, say we had four $100 bills, 120 and so on. And now we have our 42073. So these two numbers match, and our variance is zero because these two numbers match. Now, if there's ever a discrepancy, and for some reason um, these two numbers are not matching, you'll you'll see a number in the variance, and that's how off you'll be. So to get to the bottom of it, you can simply click the link in the system count, and it will show you exactly where this money came from. And here are the transactions that were, were made, and this is where this money came from. Now, keep in mind, it's not going to count the initial starting money that, that you left in the till, either from the previous day or <clears throat> the manual count. This is uh, all going to be counted throughout the system based on what was performed that shift or that day. Now the float will be subtracted from your total cash count, and that'll be your total cash deposit for the day. Again, we're going to do the same thing in the credit card field. So this says we should have processed 4888. You can just verify that on your terminal, and then you can just simply type it in in the, the manual count to reconcile. We did do a store account um, payment, so we're gonna we're gonna reconcile that as well. And then we're gonna click OK, and that will close our register for the day. It's gonna prompt us to print a Z report. That's just your standard end of the day report. It will include all of the accessories, sales, activation uh, activations bill payments. Now if you click OK it will print right out to your thermal printer. I'm going to click cancel and show you where you can view it on the screen if you'd like. So what you can do is click look up here on the top right and then click Z report and you can do a simple uh, date filter. So say you know it's going to default on the first of the month but let's say we want to go to today's date and we want to select our Brooklyn location it will default on all locations. And then click Submit, and here's our Z report. It'll give us a snapshot of our close, who opened and closed the register, the date and times, as well as all accessory sales, activations, bill payments, and phone sales. You can um, print right from here if you'd like, if you use this icon. You could also save and export to an Excel file or a PDF file or a Word file as well. Now the next topic I'd like to cover is if, you've ever, if you ever want to reprint a customer receipt or look up a transaction. 
So what you can do is you can click uh, sales on the top left here, and then you can go down to sales log viewer. And this is an area where you can filter out by location as well as date. And then click search. And it will give you all the transactions that were performed at that location on that date range. Notice records, it says four, so we did a total of four transactions on, on this date. And to reprint any one of these receipts, we simply would uh, highlight the receipt and click Print Preview on the top left. And notice down below will give you all the items that were sold on that transaction. PRD is for product, ACT is for activation. And we also have um, the payment.